Hi, welcome to another session of SEC F5 Performance Management. Uh, today, our topic of discussion is going to be something called uh, shadow prices, slack, and surplus. Now, this is a follow on lecture from the previous lecture we've done, which is uh, linear programming. So, please, before viewing this, I expect you to go back to linear programming. And look at that video because it will be quite hard to follow remember you can still give me some feedback at the following email address john.intende at gmail.com and committed to improving on the quality and also ensuring that you pass your SCCA exams so some bit of background a recap really to the previous uh, uh, lecture Remember, in the previous uh, uh, illustration, our objective was to maximize contribution. The contribution C, which was the objective function, was given as two C plus three B. So C here is the contribution. Now I won't go into details of how we derived this, but C represented the number of cakes. and B represented the units of of bread. Please look at the previous lecture and make sure you understand how we got uh, the objective function. Now you, we also drew a graph. Okay, we drew a graph. Now I'll just try and reproduce the graph quickly here. Now my graph won't be so accurate, but in your exam we expect that this should be done as accurately as possible. So we had two axes. So this axis right here is B and on this side we had C, which is the number of cakes. We had uh, a vertical line somewhere here. This vertical line was given as B less than or equal to 1300. What this means is that B should not exceed 1300. So this was an example of what we called constraint the constraint is basically something which prevents you from achieving your objective in this case profit maximization or contribution maximization we had another line okay this line was the line C is greater than or equal to. Remember, I, I went into very de much detail of how to actually come up with these lines. Now, of course, my lines are very, very uh, not so good. They're very crooked. This line was the line 0.4c plus 1.2b less than or equal to 2400 then we had another line okay remember in an exam you'll be given graph paper this line was the line 
zero point six C plus zero point eight B less than equal to seven four hundred and the point this point here was what they call the optimal solution the solution to this point was 2400 this side and the value of B at the optimal point was 1200 so B is equal to 1200 and C is equal to 2400 so that was what they called the optimal solution so the maximum contribution remember is equal to 2c plus 3b so if we substitute the value of c as you've seen is 2 4 plus 3 times the value of b which is 1200 so quickly use a calc what answer do you get So we clearly get so what we're seeing here is the maximum contribution from that solution. So which brings us to today's topic of what is shadow price. A simple definition before we begin. It's simply the maximum amount over and above the original cost that a company should pay for one additional unit of a scarce resource so remember you can be asked what this means eh? so you should be able to say something sensible about this so let's try it and answer this following question find the shadow price of of a time to be able to do that we need to know which inequality represents of a time so if you remember in the previous lecture This here represents 
of an time and this here represents mixing time so the question is how do we find the shadow price for oven time so let's see how we do that so remember what we're trying to do is find the shadow price for oven time but the definition for shadow price is what would it cost us the maximum amount we should pay over and above the original cost for one additional unit of scarce resource now the equation for oven time has been given as 0.4 c plus 1.2 b and they're saying this should be less than or equal to 2400 so how do we make this so we increase this by by one remember it is one additional unit so we have two four zero one so they we've made the available time increase by one so one additional unit of discuss resource now I remember at the optimal point okay at the optimal point right here okay we have two in intersection of two lines the line for oven time and the line for mixing time if we increase the oven time, what happens is that this line moves slightly outwards. What that means is that this point will also shift, okay? The point here will also move outwards. So our challenge is to find the new optimal point by solving the new equation for oven time with the, time, the new equation for mixing time. And we do that by solving simultaneously so i'm just going to write down the equation for mixing time which is 0 0.6 c plus 0 0.8 b which should be less than or equal to 2400 so we have two equations one and equation two so what we do we try to find the intersection of those two lines by solving simultaneously so let's try and solve simultaneously so what is the best way to solve simultaneously we're going to try and eliminate one of the variables so we're going to try and eliminate variable c so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the first equation here by 0 0.4 C rather 0 0.4 and we're going to multiply this other line by 0 0.6 so why am I multiplying with this what I'm doing is I'm getting this figure here and bring it here and I'm getting the 0 0.6 and bring it this side. So when you multiply 0 0.4 by 0 0.6, what you get is 0 0.24. So 0 0.24 C plus. Then you multiply 1.2 by 0.6.
then 2401 by 0 0.6 So this is equation 3. Then equation 4, we multiply the second equation. All the terms here, we're multiplying them by 0.4. We're multiplying this other figure by 0.4. Then we're finally multiplying the two four by 0 0.4. So here you get 0 0.24c. Now you can see that these two are now the same. And that is what we're trying to do to eliminate one of the variables by making them the same. Then 0 0.8 by 0 0.4 gives you 0 0.32. And this should be less than or equal to 24, 24 by 0 0.4. You get 900. 60. The next step is you subtract equation 3 minus 4. What do you end up with? This cancels. Then we have 0 0.72 minus 0 0.32b should equal to 1440.6 minus 960. So 0 0.72 minus 0 0.32, what do you have? You have 0 0.4b, which should equal to. Please try and verify these figures. I'm using my calculator right now. So we have 480. 0.6 dividing both sides by 0.4 and we have b is equal to so the new value for b is 1201.0 5 so how would we get the value of c we substitute in n of these equations, okay? So to get the value of C, we substitute for B in n of the equations. For instance, equation 1. So what was equation 1? It was 0 point, you can see it right here. 0.4c plus 1.2b 0.4c plus 1.2 times now the value of b 1201.5 remember i'm getting this from here and this should equal to 12 remember it is 24 0 one it is twenty four zero one so let's try and use a culture to write here one point two by 1201.5 gives you so we have 0 0.4c plus 1.2 plus 1401.8 is equal to 24.01 0.4c is equal to 24 Zero one minus fourteen 
So this is equal to nine five nine point two. Okay, divide both sides by zero point four, divide both sides by zero point four. Two three. So that's the value of C. So the question is, what is our new contribution? Remember, the contribution or the objective function was two C plus three B. So we substitute into this equation. Remember, this is coming from here, plus 3 times, the value of B is 1201.5. This is coming from, hope you can see that. So what do you get? Use your calc. You can pause the video and make sure you get this figure here. So that's the new contribution. But remember, what was the original contribution? Yeah, what was the original contribution? It was eight thousand four hundred. Now that we've made one additional unit of oven time available, one additional minute. We are earning 844.5. That means the shadow price, okay, is equal to 844.5 minus 844. And the shadow price is 0 0.5 dollars per unit of. Oven time. But the bigger question is what is the implication of this? What is the implication which is most likely to be examined? What is the implication of this? It means the company should pay at most a premium over and above the original cost. Of only 0 0.5 dollars per per minute so if you're bargaining let's say someone is giving you their oven and you're trying to bargain for a rate okay so if your original rate is 9 the maximum we should give them per minute would be 9.5 so you should only exceed the original cost by 0.5 otherwise you make a loss remember the contribution has only increased by 0.5 so it doesn't make sense for you to pay something which exceeds 0 0.5 so what that's what they mean by a shadow price and remember a shadow price okay a shadow price only applies for scarce resources okay so the scarce resources are the ones are the lines which are intersecting at the optimum solution in this case it was the oven time and the mixing time the other two concepts are the concepts called slack and 
surplus. So slack So we have a concept called slack. So slack is simply the amount by which a resource is not utilized and surplus of of course is the reverse amount by which a resource exceeds the minimum amount so using those concepts if we go back to this diagram right here okay now remember at this point here okay the value of c is 2400 and the value of b is 1200 but we are told that The value of B should not exceed 1,300. So meaning that the slack, okay, for B is 1,300, the maximum amount, minus the actual, which is 1,200. So this is 100. So we can calculate a slack for B, as shown below. Whereas we can calculate a surplus for C. Remember we are told that C we are told that C should not be below 1,000. So the surplus, okay, for C will be 2,400 minus 1,000, which gives you 1,400. I'm getting the 1,000 from that figure. And I'm getting the 2,400 from that. So, so briefly, that's what we've been talking about. It may seem complicated, but it's really not. So basically, just to uh, recap, okay, we've talked about a shadow price. Shadow price which is the premium which we should pay for one additional unit okay we've talked about the slack okay which is basically the amount of unutilized uh, resource and we've talked about surplus which is the amount by which a resource exceeds the minimum amount. So that's it for linear programming and shadow prices. Uh, you can reach me as usual on this email address and I will try and respond. So it's john.intende gmail.com. Okay, and good luck uh, in your exams.